good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm and today I want to walk you through the find feature in Wireshark 2.0. It's changed just a bit so I want to make sure you don't get tripped up on it. Uh, you can see I've got mine actually up already. I'm just going to cancel that. I want to show you how I got there obviously. You can go back to the menu, edit, find packet. For the people who like to use their little shortcut keys or speed keys, it's uh, control F and that brings down this little bar. So I'm going to search for the text the tech firm dot com and you can see it's salmon pink whatever color you want to call it because the default is a display filter syntax and that is not a display filter syntax that's just simply some text so we're going to change this to string again this is no different than before uh, you have an option for case sensitivity I'm not going to bother with that and I'm looking for it in the packet details I could have looked for it in the list which is up here the details is the pane down here and the bytes would have been the third one which I've turned off so we are going to search for it in the details. And when I hit find, it goes and finds the first instance, which has this very fine gray line highlighting the packet. See, it's just very, very fine. Um, so you, you got to get a look for it, but it's pretty well at the bottom. But depending on your packet placement, who knows, right? So just uh, look carefully and you'll see it highlights the line for you. And this is in the packet list. Well, I want to find the next one uh, or the next one until I don't see it in the list. And it was only in the details. So little review under edit you've got find next which is control n as in nancy so that's what i'm going to do control n and i can see that's still in the list that's still in the list that is still in the list and that one is not in the list that's a get command so from there i'm going to go to my pack of details and you can see it just highlights the hypertext transfer protocol in previous versions of wireshark it would have expanded this and highlighted the text that it was looking for but it didn't do it this time so we're manually going to just open that up and in my case it's right there uh, what that means is that you know you may have to dig around a little bit to find it but you know now you know that sort of thing the other thing is uh, when you do cancel your find and again we go to edit find a second time it will actually remember the last thing you searched for and that it was in details and that it was a string so there you go hope that helped have a good day bye for now